Morocco and I am occupying Wall Street. Lots of signs and people walking around with cameras. Uh, and what I see is a lot of people building a community here in this park. Um, uh, kind of frustrated with the way things are and they're uh, there are feudal lords have been greedy and the serfs are begging for more crumbs. What really ties all this together is that the, the wealthiest 1% of Americans have enslaved the rest of us and they've used the government to do that. And I, I think that's really the most common sentiment you can find among all of these people. So do all of these people, or do a lot of these people even, uh, think that it's the government that's to blame? Oh. No, no, they think it's the rich people to blame. They think it's the, it's the capitalists, the fat cats, the, the Wall Street brokers. And that's why that's why they're here. That's why they're occupying Wall Street. I mean, they, I think I think if you ask people, a lot of them will see the ways that government has been used as a tool to oppress and to concentrate wealth into the hands of the fewer. But I don't think that they would blame the government per se. A lot of them actually see the government as a potential solution. They think, you know, if only the government did the things that they wanted it to do, then things would be all right. If only you get the money out of politics, things would be fine. And what do you think about that? I think it's a fantasy. Why? Because, because government is a tool to do precisely what it's doing. It's not something that's meant to serve all of these people. In fact, if you think about it, it's much easier for a, a small concentrated interest group to use their wealth to get what they want, whereas all of these people have a wide variety of interests and it's hard for all of these people to come together and um, and have a narrow set of demands. I mean it's easy for big farms to you know demand agriculture subsidies because they all want the same thing and they all have a lot of money to do it. My fear is that the government is going to use this as a pretext to do more harm, to concentrate more power into the federal government and you know, like the New Deal or the Great Society, this will be the new New Deal, is what they're going to push forth. Because Obama and Bernanke, they're already angling to do it. They're, they're expressing sympathy and understanding for this movement. And there's enough people here who want free goodies from the government that I'm sure they'll be happy to provide. So in that sense, could uh, this uh, do more harm than good? Absolutely. And how do you feel about that? I think that's the way things are going to go until the system collapses on itself. I think it's just, you know, I mean, that's sort of been my expectation anyway. I mean, you know, if you get one small jolt in the same direction things have been moving, it's not really anything I'm going to get too hung up on because that's the way I see things going anyway. You know, as long as this whole thing is going on, I, I do think that there should be more uh, liberty-minded people occupying the occupation. I think, uh, you know, there's a lot of people here who are disenchanted and they don't all have the right ideas, but um, I'm hoping that some of them will be, uh, what's the word, receptive to, the, to our ideas. And I mean, there have been... Uh, people who are libertarians here and uh, people who consider themselves anarchists here and Ron Paul supporters and anti-Fed folk. I've definitely run into some of those, but they're sporadic. Um, they have jobs, apparently, <laughs> and so they can't uh, devote their time to being here. I do know that there, there are uh, some events planned uh, Friday and Sunday, and hopefully moving forward there'll be more. Um, Liberty-minded people coming here, talking to people, educating people, and um, I know I'm here and my friends are here and we've got some literature to hand out. And hopefully we'll find people who are interested. Okay, man, anything else you want to say? Um, occupy the occupation.
Do you want to support good people who disobey bad laws? The Civil Disobedience Evolution Fund was created to support the brave men and women who are saying no to aggressive government. With your contribution, you can support civil disobedience and non-cooperation now, while encouraging more in the future. As CD Evolution grows, we hope to provide activists with legal and public relations assistance, as well as delivering timely information on the growing civil disobedience movement. To play your part in the peaceful evolution, visit cdevolution.org. That's cdevolution.org.